camera bag, camera bag, camera bag, camera bag, camera bag. Today's video is about camera bags. When you first start out as a photographer, your gear starts to grow. And the one thing that I always hated when I started out was camera bags. Since I started photography, I have tried lots of different camera bags from cheap backpacks like this off Amazon, which as you can tell, isn't really gonna protect your gear, is it? It's not too great, a couple of quid, but absolutely crap. I've also tried things like little shoulder bags, things like this actually do not hold much. This is just handy to have when I'm out on a shoot and I can just chuck a second body if I'm doing a wedding, my backup camera is kept in there. I've gone to things such as the big Low Pro Pro Tactic 450 AW, and this thing is my go-to camera bag. But today, this bag is not the main focus. So the bag in question I want to talk about today for beginner photographers like yourselves at home is the Low Pro Teho Taho Teho. 150 and this is a fantastic little camera bag. I'm gonna break down a couple of reasons why I think this is probably the best bag you can get if you are a beginner photographer or you just like to carry a light load when you're out and about shooting. And we're gonna go through a couple of reasons why I think this is the bag you should be looking to get if you are starting out in photography and your gear is starting to expand. There are five reasons why this bag is absolutely fantastic for beginner photographers. And the first one is, so the price of this bag is currently set at $54.99. If you go over to the link in the description and head over to Low Pro's website, it is currently on offer as making this video at a price of $54.99. Now $54.99 for a camera bag is absolutely incredible. And for a bag of this quality is absolutely first class. Low Pro for me are just the kings of camera bag. These are the only company that I really would go for now in terms of keeping my camera gear safe and having a bag that I know is comfortable and reliable. But for $54.99, this thing is absolutely incredible. Now, the second thing I love about this bag is this bag's build quality is absolutely incredible. Now, considering this is currently a $54.99 bag, this bag is absolutely sturdy, it's strong, it's got good, good protection when your camera gear is fully set in here. The zips are really good quality. The stitching, everything is top draw. Everything is nice and covered and you know that your gear is going to be safe. So fantastic tick there to Low Pro. This bag is a brilliant build quality. You know it feels comfortable on your back. You know your gear is going to be safe and protected. So that's the most important thing when choosing a camera bag is making sure that one, it's nice and comfortable, but the main thing is, is that your camera gear is going to be safe when you're out and about traveling with this. So big tick for Low Pro. You've got plenty of nice meshing on the side to put a bottle or a small tripod. You've got lots of little inner pockets where you can put little bits and bobs. You've got then a second pocket where you could even chuck a nice tablet in there or something, some filters, some memory cards, some spare batteries and some charging cables. Got nice backpack straps so when it's on the back it is nice and comfortable it isn't the best bag that low pro make but for a beginner bag this is absolutely amazing and the only bag that i would suggest if you are starting out and you want a nice comfortable backpack for when you're out and about hiking and you want to keep your gear nice and safe the next thing about this bag is now, when you're out and about and you've got your camera gear on your back, sometimes it can weigh you down a bit. So you need a bag that is comfortable. And this thing is absolutely fantastic to wear. It's nice and light. It's nice and well built. But the padding on the straps and on the back really make it comfortable when you're out and about. If you're hiking up a mountain or you're doing some landscape photography and you get into a location. But comfort is absolutely fantastic on this bag. Low Pro really are amazing at making camera bags from protecting your gear to protect them against all weathers. This thing isn't weatherproof. I wouldn't have this getting soaked like I would my big backpack, but honestly, it is sturdy enough to withstand some dust and dirt and maybe a splash of water, but I would not get this thing saturated in water because it will eventually seep through to your camera gear. So just keep an eye out for that. But what you want it for, I'm never really one that goes out with a camera bag in the peeing down rain. It's not my style, but I know that if I've got the big backpack, then that thing has got me covered. It's got a protective layer that I can put over it and it completely gets rid of the water if it's out and about in the rain. But in terms of comfort, this thing is absolutely fantastic. It's so comfortable to wear, it's nice and light. Sometimes it's nice to downgrade from the big backpack with a light set up in the bag and just going with this and a smaller run and gun setup. So comfort, absolutely first class, well done low pro. 
and another reason why I think you should get this bag if you are a beginner looking for a good camera bag. Now the next thing I love about this bag is Now this camera bag is, for me anyway, if you are a beginner, very, very spacious. Now I've got it in this setup where when I'm out and about, you've got this compartment at the top here. You can pop a little drone in there. I, I fly the DJI Mavic Mini 2 and it can pop itself in there. I've got enough room to put a little lens here, an adapter here for my Z system mirrorless cameras. I put a 24 to 70 lens in there. I put the 70 to 200 in the main compartment and then I put my main camera body in there. I do switch it up sometimes. I do sometimes think I'll take two camera bodies and maybe one lens, two lenses. Maybe the drone doesn't come with me, but I've always got enough room that I mix and match and take the gear that I need for that particular shoot. But when you're, when you're starting out, more often than not, people go for crop sensor cameras, which are really smaller than a mirrored camera or even a mirrorless system, and also has an effect on the size and weight of the lenses that you carry around. So this thing is more than capable of handling what you've got in your camera bag, especially if you're starting out as a beginner photographer. So this camera bag, I have taken out some of the separations, the partitions inside of it. I don't use them all. I just use the main ones that come with it. I have added one or two in the bottom just to add a couple of extra layers of protection when I've got that big 70 to 200 in the main central compartment of the bag. You can completely customize it. You can have it to how you want and that will suit your gear no matter what camera you're carrying, what lens systems you've got. So you can fully customize it. It's very spacious. It is fairly deep, so you can chuck a drone in there. You can chuck two drones in there. Like I said, you can chuck camera bodies in there and I carry a very big 70 to 200, which slots in here. A 24 to 70, which is a big, big lens. The Sigma F 2.8 art lens, big chunky lens that fits in the side compartment, lovely. 70 to 200 and then my Z system. So I can mix and match. Like I said, I can chuck my drone and stuff in here, but a very spacious bag. If you are a beginner, like I said, you're probably more than likely going to start out with a crop sensor camera, an APC sensor camera. So what that does is you've got more room then for lighter, smaller lenses so you can pack even more in. So a bigger bonus when you are a beginner photographer, this bag ticks all the boxes for me. And the last thing that I want to get onto is this camera bag's adaptability. So no matter what you're carrying, you can adapt the bag to how you want it. I very, very rarely sort of change my bag. Once I've got the setup, once I've got all the separations and the partitions in, I know where my camera gear is going. I only really use this bag now for if I'm out on a, on a, on a hike and I don't want to carry too much gear, I want to lighten the payload. I chuck what I need when I need it in here and I just head out with that if I don't want to carry my massive camera bag. But this thing has got fantastic adaptability. Like I said, you've got compartments in the front where usually I just chuck in some business cards in case people see me out and about. You can chuck things like memory cards, spare batteries and stuff, filters, ND filters and things like that drone filters you can chuck in so there's plenty of room plenty of room there for a tablet i probably wouldn't chuck a laptop in unless it's a fairly small laptop i would probably say just stick to a tablet or something if you are chucking one in but like i said the adaptability of this bag is absolutely fantastic because you can change it up to how you want it at home and to how it suits you and you can work around the camera gear that you have so adaptability big tick from me this bag is fantastic like i said i've taken out some of the partitions inside of this bag because I don't need them. I just need the central piece for obviously my big lens, my art lens, 24 to 70, and my camera body. If I did want to take my drone, I can chuck the Mavic Mini into this big top compartment here, which is great. Chuck the controller in and some flight batteries. Maybe you just want this bag for flying drones. If you want to chuck a drone in there, there's plenty of room. I have had my old Mavic 2 Pro in here with the controller and everything and spare batteries and the bag holds things just fine with even more room to chuck chuck more things in so big big plus on that side but like I said the adaptability the spaciousness the reliability the build quality and the price of this bag make this bag the best bag you can buy for a beginner photographer so if you're out on the market and you're looking for a camera bag and you're starting to work out what gear you want what gear you've got and you want a bag that will hold all of that and even if you've got some camera gear on the way and you're increasing what you've got and you need to fill out a bag then this thing's got you covered so it's a big recommendation for me the low pro Tejo 150 backpack is absolutely fantastic so if you're a beginner photographer out on the market looking for a camera bag to hold your camera gear then i highly recommend this bag 54.99 which is a bargain compared to some of the big bags it's very spacious the adaptability the build quality 
all big ticks from me. So if you are in the market, please head over to Low Pro's website and have a look at this fantastic camera bag. Obviously, when you grow as a photographer and your camera gear increases, you obviously will go up to bigger camera bags, such as my main bag, which is the Low Pro Pro Tactic 450 AW, so the all weather version which is an incredible bag. But when you're starting out, when you're a beginner and your camera gear isn't where it is going to be in the next couple of years, you want a camera bag that will hold everything that you've got currently. And the Low Pro Tejo 150 has completely got you covered in that department. I wish I hadn't spent all the money on the crap bags that I bought in the past. I wish that I'd have just got this and the main bag. Obviously my camera gear increasing, I need a bag that can hold even more gear. I've got numerous lenses, numerous bodies, drone batteries, lots of chargers, everything gets thrown in there. But when I want a lighter setup, this is the go-to bag. This is now my backup bag, so when I go on a wedding shoot, everything I need on a wedding day, I can fill into this bag. So, big tick from me. If you're in the market and you want a bag, I suggest go and find yourself a Low Pro Tejo 150. Small video today, I didn't want to cover too much. I just wanted to give you guys at home a quick glance at the Low Pro bag. I think this is an amazing bag if you are starting out and it's a high recommendation for me. If you are looking for one, please head over to their website. Take a look, 54.99, you will not be disappointed. I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. In the last couple of weeks, I've had an influx of subscribers coming in, so I welcome you all to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please hit subscribe down below. You know what to do, hit the notification bell, and hopefully we can continue on this YouTube journey together. I look forward to making many, many more videos. My next video is hopefully going to be an initial review of my new camera, which is the Nikon Z5, which you can catch up in an older video if you go through my videos. It's a fantastic camera, so my next video is going to be going on about an initial review from a professional photographer about the Nikon Z5, so stay tuned for that. Until the next one, see the world, capture life. See you later. Peace.